and we are back with another exciting belt in the African Warriors Fighting Championship Dambe division. And here we have Bagong Gidiwe, one of our favorite fighters here. Quick, fast, small fighter, but powerful, great movement, and a great addition to the African Warriors was roster. And he's facing off against Bagong Dugan Alta, a fighter we've seen a lot at the African Warriors Fighting Championship. Powerful, aggressive, knockout artist. And these fighters have one of the fiercest rivalries we have at African Warriors. Both men face off a lot, have fought multiple times. Both men have taken victories and taken losses. So really exciting to see these, this clash of two styles. Dogon Alta, bigger, more powerful, more aggressive. Gidue gives as good as he gets, but is quicker, use, uses great movement to win fights. So excited to see who's going to take the victory today, who's going to stamp their will on this fight. And we have the customary touch of hands, and here we go. Round one. Both men taking a second, some words between them. And here we go, some fighting for hand control. Hand control is so important in Dambe. The unblocked hand is used to block. So if you can tie up your opponent's hand, you open up shots. Alta takes a, a nice roundhouse kick attempt, Gidue evades. Both men just watching here, looking, look at the concentration on Gidue's face there faint Alta opens up with some heavy shots and there you go just blast Gidwe out of the arena takes one point in doing so Gidwe evades the big shot but gives up the point but I mean that blow looked heavy would you have rather taken the punch <laughs> and here we go some fainting on both sides Gidwe comes forward both men swinging Alta swinging heavily this bad intentions Alta swings with you can see every punch this man takes every shot he takes he's looking to knock his opponent out here we have a pause in the action some of our times rope became loose gidwe takes a second goes to engage with his his brothers in house arawa his fellow warriors and here we go so both men feeling each other out both men are used to fighting each other so they take the opportunity to gidwe beating his chest, look at him, come on, let's go, I'm here. Gidwe comes forward heavily, out and swings heavily, and that is a great example of why you shouldn't overextend yourself. Altan was looking for those big knockout punches, and in doing so, went off balance and gave up an easy round, a round that he looked like he could have won. And that's what I love about Gidwe, just he's able to remain patient, able to remain calm even in the face of a big onslaught from a bigger opponent. And Gidwe just moving back, using his movement, and he just made Alta overextend himself, and Alta loses the round. So that's round one to Gidwe, and there you go, just lost his balance. Gidwe takes a nice easy round. He's Gidwe getting some coaching from, from his fellow fighters, from his senior fighters. Have a slight cut in the head there. Both men just retying their rope, getting ready to go back in and do battle all over again. Gidwe, look at that. He's pumped up, wrapping that rope. The caro, which we call the rope here. I'll turn doing the same. And that rope, right? You're looking at it and you're thinking, what does that feel? It's heavy, it's hard. It almost feels like a cast or something. It's like you've turned your punching hand into a club. And that club is used to deliver heavy, heavy punches. It's not easy. These are serious warriors. And here we have round two. Both men just getting ready, stretching. Again, we have that hand control. Probing with that hand. Using it to set up the big punches, the big opportunities. Both men watching. Watching, watching. Just, Dambi is like waiting for a bomb to go off. You never know when it's going to come and someone's going to open up with a knockout shot. So we have these moments where both men are just looking for the opening. And then boom, before you know it, 
somebody's in the sand. So both men just looking for the opening, fainting. These small moments are so important. Disrupt your opponent's rhythm. And before you know it, you've got a shot there. You've got a big punch. You've got a heavy kick. So both men can't see the concentration on both men's faces. In the zone here. Looking for that and look, jump there. Both men are fainting there. Gideway comes forward, heavy punch, and he goes tumbling down. And again, we spoke about, so that's no point. That was a trip. Referee rules it as a trip, and we re-engage. So balance is so important in Dambi, and because you're punching with one hand, all of your force is on one side of the body. So you just need to be very careful that you apply the right amount of pressure, the right amount of force, so you can go flying, tumbling to the canvas. And if you touch the ground, you lose a round, unless it's judged to be a trip or a, an obvious fall. So both men probing here, looking, concentrating. When is it going to come? I know it's going to come, I can feel it. <laughs> Gideway beating his chest, let's go. Nice shot from Gideway there, great overhand. Lands flush on the chin. That's what I mean, movement. Gideway is a great fighter when it comes out. Heavy punch, and he sends Gideway tumbling down. Heavy shot. This is what I said, he's a marauder. He's powerful, aggressive. So here's that trip that was judged to not be a true knockdown. And I'm waiting, and here we go. So Alta comes forward heavily, bullying style, and boom, lands a shot right on the chin, which sends Gideway down. And as you can see, Gideway is just uncertain on his feet, no balance. That shot just rocked him, and that's an instant victory. That's a KO. You can't put that man back in there. And Altan is celebrating, goes to respond to the musicians. Dogen Alta, ladies and gentlemen. One of our best warriors, a fierce fighter, big knockout artist. And Gidui has nothing to be ashamed of. Put up a good fight, won the first round, but Altan was just able to drop a heavy shot. Here we go, Altan receiving some cash. Great bout, African Warriors Fighting Championship.